Caught on video, the arrest of a Metro East pastor. It happened Sunday at Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church while the pastor was preaching. In a story you'll only see here, our Robert Townsend says this all stems from some members wanting to oust their leader. The arrest of Pastor Blevins at Mint, Zion Missionary Baptist Church in East St. Louis, has stirred significant controversy and drawn attention to the internal conflicts within the church. Pastor Blevins, a charismatic leader known for his passionate sermons and strong opinions, has been a polarizing figure in the congregation. Tensions had been simmering for months, with a faction of church members dissatisfied with his leadership style and decisions. The situation reached a boiling point when these members attempted to oust him, leading to a dramatic confrontation during a Sunday service. On the day of the arrest, the atmosphere at Meet Zion Missionary Baptist Church was charged with tension. Church members filled the pews, some there to support Pastor Blevins, others ready to challenge his authority. As the service began, it became evident that this would not be a typical Sunday gathering. Midway through his sermon, police officers entered the sanctuary, causing a stir among the congregation. The officers requested that Pastor Blevins speak with them privately, but he refused, insisting on addressing the issue in front of his congregation. This refusal led to a standoff, culminating in his arrest in front of the shocked assembly. The immediate reaction from the congregation was one of disbelief and confusion. Supporters of Pastor Blevins were vocal in their disapproval of the arrest, viewing it as an affront to their spiritual leader and a violation of the sanctity of their worship space. They argued that the police action was a result of a calculated effort by a small, disgruntled group within the church to remove Pastor Blevins by any means necessary. On the other hand, those who had been advocating for his removal felt justified, believing that his refusal to cooperate with the police demonstrated his unfitness for leadership. And he was trying to give me some illegal papers, uh, stating a termination. St. Clair County Sheriff's deputies walked inside his church, approached the pulpit, handcuffed the East St. Louis pastor, and then arrested him while he was preaching. A handcuffed Levingston kept on preaching as deputies escorted him to jail on charges of trespassing and disorderly conduct. Investigators say a St. Clair County Police Sergeant asked Pastor Levinston numerous times if he could speak with him away from his congregation. But police say Levinston refused and would not leave his church. That's when the deputies arrested him on the charges. Levinston's wife shared this cell phone video. I still feel very low. I feel uh, that he disrespected not only myself, but the pulpit. And it just makes me feel terminally ill. As news of the arrest spread through the community, Reactions were mixed. Some saw it as a necessary intervention to address the leadership crisis within the church, while others viewed it as an overreach of law enforcement into religious affairs. Community leaders and other local pastors weighed in, offering support to the congregation and calling for a peaceful resolution to the conflict. The incident sparked a broader conversation about the role of church leadership and the importance of addressing internal disputes in a manner that upholds the dignity and sanctity of the church. In the days following the arrest, Me T, Zion Missionary Baptist Church found itself at a crossroads. The church's governing body held emergency meetings to address the situation, seeking to restore peace and unity among the congregation. They recognized the need for mediation and counseling to heal the rift that had developed. Additionally, they explored the possibility of holding a formal vote to determine the future leadership of the church, ensuring that all members had a voice in the decision-making process. The broader implications of Pastor Blevins' arrest extend beyond Met, Zion Missionary Baptist Church. It serves as a cautionary tale for other religious institutions about the importance of transparent and accountable leadership. Churches, like any other organizations, are not immune to internal conflicts and power struggles. The incident underscores the need for established protocols and conflict resolution mechanisms to address grievances and disputes effectively. Moreover, it highlights the delicate balance between religious autonomy and the role of law enforcement in maintaining public order. What kind of non-criminal sin was committed by Evangelical Tony Evans? Tony Evans, founding pastor of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship, with over 10,000 members in Dallas, Texas, has announced his resignation following a self-admitted sin. He acknowledged he committed no crime. He did not use righteous judgment in my actions. 
Evans stated he is stepping away from pastoral duties and submitting to a healing and restoration process established by the elders. Evans 74 also hosts The Alternative with Dr. Tony Evans, a globally aired program across more than 1,000 stations. He previously was the chaplain for the NBA's Dallas Mavericks and the NFL's Dallas Cowboys. The church looks towards interim leadership, with more details expected soon. Carla Evans, his new wife, continues her mission to empower women and support widows and children. The church is called Dad's Place, and the pastor is facing fines and even jail time because he simply wants to care for the homeless. Now Pastor Chris Avell of Bryan, Ohio, is facing 18 charges of violating the city's zoning laws. Officials in the city of nearly 9,000 say he's breaking the law by opening his church 24 hours a day. The pastor says he just wants to help take care of people with nowhere to go because the local shelter is often completely full and the city is facing a housing shortage. The director of that shelter even supports his efforts, yet the pastor is still facing criminal charges for daring to care for the homeless in the frigid winter. You can read more about this in our newsletter, First Liberty Insider. In reflecting on the events that transpired, members of the congregation and the community at large are left to grapple with several fundamental questions. How can churches navigate internal conflicts while maintaining their spiritual mission? What role should external authorities play in resolving disputes within religious institutions? And how can leaders ensure that they are serving the best interests of their congregations while adhering to ethical and moral standards? Pastor Blevin's arrest is a reminder of the complexities inherent in church leadership and the challenges of fostering a cohesive and united congregation. As Meet Zion Missionary Baptist Church moves forward, it will need to focus on healing and rebuilding trust among its members. This process will require open dialogue, a commitment to transparency, and a willingness to address underlying issues that contributed to the conflict. By doing so, the church can emerge stronger and more unified, better equipped to fulfill its spiritual mission and serve its community. The lessons learned from this incident can serve as valuable guidance for other churches facing similar challenges. It emphasizes the importance of proactive leadership, effective communication, and the need for a supportive and engaged congregation. Ultimately, the goal is to create a church environment where all members feel heard, respected, and valued, and where leader ease are held to high standards of accountability and integrity as the dust settles on this tumultuous chapter in Mutt. Zion Missionary Baptist Church's history, the hope is that the congregation can come together to chart a new course forward. By addressing the root causes of the conflict and fostering a spirit of unity and cooperation, the church can continue to be a beacon of hope and faith in the community. The road ahead may be challenging, but with a renewed commitment to their shared values and mission, the congregation can overcome the obstacles and emerge stronger than ever. In conclusion, the arrest of Pastor Blevins is more than just a singular event. It is a catalyst for reflection and change within MIT, Zion Missionary Baptist Church, and beyond. It highlights the critical importance of leadership, accountability, and conflict resolution in maintaining the health and vitality of religious institutions. As the church navigates the aftermath of this incident, it has the opportunity to learn, grow, and ultimately become a more resilient and united community of faith.